Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to writing. What you need is your 2017 book three. Excerpt from Double Dutch, a celebration of jump rope rhyme and sisterhood, which we've been working on. It should be all highlighted and marked up and ready to go. You should have excerpt from It's Our World Too, highlighted, all marked up and ready to go. You should have your completed planning page. Your planning page should have wraps written down the side. We should have our problems and our questions from our essay question. Restate, reminding you up at the top. And then we worked on our T-chart. We talked about Tahira from our Double Dutch story and Justin from It's Our World. We identified their problem that Tahira is creating an invention that has challenged the limits of sports. Justin's problem is that he needs to fix up 21 bikes before the holidays so that he can give them to all the boys in the Kilberchen home. They asked us what was their similarities. We identified their similarity as that they both asked for help from others in order to achieve their goals. Then we identified their differences. The difference with Tahira is that it took her more than a full year to get her machine to work. The difference with Justin is that it's going to take him about a week to fix a bike. So if he has six months and 19 more bikes to make, he has to be making about a bike per week. And we found this information in paragraph 14, and we found the information about Tahira in paragraph 4. What you did on Monday was create this planning page and you should have started your essay. What we talked about in our meeting on Zoom, now it's gonna look a little different because what you saw on our Zoom meeting was on a Word document typed on the computer, but I promise you this is exactly what you saw on the computer. I just wrote it out for you guys. I put our introduction in blue. I bumped in and indented my paragraph and then began my introduction. Both excerpt from Double Dutch, a celebration of jump rope, rhyme, and sisterhood, and excerpt from It's Our World Too are about a young person who faces and solves a problem. Give them their words right back. Excerpt from Double Dutch and It's Our World Too are about a young person's solution to a problem. Give them back their words. Now, we're going to describe the problem that each young person faces. Here we go. In the first story, Tahir is faced with the problem of creating an invention to challenge the limits of sports. This is exactly what we put right here for her problem on our planning page. I just copied this and put it right there. In the second story, Justin is faced with the problem of being able to fix up 21 old bikes in time for the holidays. There it is again, guys. Took the problem, copied it, pasted it right there. Every boy who lives in Kilberton will have a bike of their own. Tahir and Justin find solutions to their problem. Now I'm going on to answer the similarities and differences to their solution. I'm going to start with the similarities. They both right? Both means similar. They both enlist the help of others to achieve their goals. Look, there it is. Similar. They both asked for help from others to achieve their goals. I copied it. I pasted it. All the hard work is done here already. 
They both enlist the help of others to achieve their goals. Now I'm going to explain. Tahira reaches out to her team of students to help her design and build the double Dutch invention. Okay. Justin reaches out to his father to help to support for support to help make his dream of repairing bikes a reality. Now I put this in yellow because these words are the words that I want you using from wraps. I know this because you're drawing the reader's attention to your evidence. You're telling them, hello, here it is, here it is, I'm ready, look, come over here, look, I'm proving it to you. I know this because. Now I put this big quote in here to help support my answer. Paragraph six states, and I put the quote in orange so you can see that this is not my writing, that this is copied from the story. Now Justin and his father cleared out a workspace. In the garage and put the old junker up on a rack. They poured alcohol on the frame and rubbed until the old paint began to yield layer by layer. They replaced the broken pedal tightened down a new seat, and restored the grips. Okay, so that's where we left off when I left you on Monday. And what you're going to work on today is writing the rest of your essay. Ideally, I'd like you to stop this video now and think about where we left off. Let's think about our four questions here. Our four questions are, identify the problem that is faced, find similarities, find differences, and use details from both. So what have we done in our essay so far? Let's look back. In the first story, Tahira is faced with a problem of creating an invention to challenge the limits of sports. In the second story, Justin is faced with the problem of being able to fix up 21 old bikes in time for the holidays. So, did I identify the problem faced by each character? Yes, I did. So I'm going to check it off. Now I go on to say that they both enlist the help of others to achieve their goals. So did I tell you how their approach was similar? Yes, I did. Now, what's left? I have to explain their differences. And I need one more detail because I have a detail from Justin's story already. So I need to tell them about my differences and I still need a detail about Tahira. Okay, so pause the video. If you're keeping up with me, what you have to finish is your differences and one more piece of text evidence from Tahira. If you have your own way of doing this and you've started writing about Tahira, now it's time to write about Justin. If you've chosen to write about Justin, now it's time to write about Tahira. Go back to the four questions. Read what you have so far in your essay and then decide what's left that you have to identify. If you're following along here with me, pause the video, write down your differences, write down your last detail for Tahira, and don't forget to sum it up at the end. Pause this video now, write what you can write, and then you can come back to the video and follow along with me as I finish. Okay guys, welcome back. So here's what we're gonna do. 
we're going to continue with our essay. I have to finish writing the differences between the two, and I need one more piece of text evidence for Tahira. So I'm going to look at my planning page here, and I already have my differences all written out. I know the difference between Tahira and Justin is that Tahira, it took a whole year for her to complete her invention, whereas Justin only needed about a bike per week. So here I go. Ready? One difference. between Tahira and Justin solutions to their problem. Because remember, you want to use full sentences. You really want to explain yourself one difference between Tahira and Justin's solution to their problem is that, okay, and before I even write it, I'm just going to double check off my planning page. Look, one difference to their problem is that it took Tahira a full year. It took Tahira and her team longer to achieve their goal. There's my I. And now I'm going to give them those fancy words that they want to hear, those highlighted words that I showed you on the previous page. Because remember, we always want to bring it back to wraps. We always want to bring it back to that language, drawing their attention, proving to them that you know what you're talking about and you're answering their questions. I know this because the story says, one example is, another example is. Give them those words, draw their attention to your support. I know this because the story says, I know this because the story says. Those are those wonderful words that I like to see. I know this because the story says, and here comes my text evidence. From right here, paragraph four, it took more than a full year to get the machine to work. Direct text evidence from paragraph four. It took more than a year to get the machine to actually work. Now, that was to hear his evidence. Now I have to tell you the difference in Justin's solution. While Justin Don't be afraid that it's going on to another page. That's okay. While Justin Remember, it's right here. Justin's difference is right here. What's the difference with Justin? Justin and his father only take about six months, one bike per week. Justin and his father
took about a week. to fix the first bike. And had, and here comes my quote, six months to make 19 bikes. That's almost a bike a week. Okay. So now, come back to our planning page. We know that we identified the problem faced by the characters. We know that we identified similarities. The paragraph that we just wrote together talks about the differences. I know I have two pieces of text evidence in my differences alone because I talk about it taking a full year for Tahira and I talk about it taking six months for Justin. So I know I have details from both stories. That's the key, not just two details. It has to be details from both stories. I have a piece of text evidence for Tahira. I have a piece of text evidence for Justin. Check. I restated, I answered it. I proved it once, I proved it twice. And now all I have left is the sum it up. And I know a lot of you have a hard time with this sum it up because it's so simple. And sometimes the most simple tasks are the hardest because we're thinking like, oh, it's gotta be this big complicated hard thing and, and uh, I, I just can't get it. Your sum it up is just one sentence that pretty much tells the reader, boom, I told you so, here it is, here's all the answers. So watch how I do my sum it up. I'm going to look back at my question. Both excerpt from Double Dutch, a celebration of jump rope rhyme and sisterhood, and excerpt from It's Our World Too are about a young person's solution to a problem. There's our key words. A young person's solution to a problem. Those are the words I want to use in my sum it up. I want to give them all my, my answers, my differences, my similarities, my, my text evidence. And then I go, ta-da. See how it's about a young person's solution to a problem? Take a minute, think about it, pause the video. Write one to two sentences of your sum it up on your own. Then come back to the video and see how you did. Compare your sum it up to my sum it up. Pause the video now to write your sum it up sentence. Okay, welcome back. I hope you guys tried your best on writing your sum it up sentence. I'm going to take this piece of information that we underlined to write my sum it up. And I'm gonna think about Justin and Tahira and I'm going to present that they both had similarities and differences when finding their solution to a problem. Here we go. While Tahira. And Justin. Whoops, getting crazy with my writing. Sorry guys. While Tahira and Justin's solutions to their problem were both similar and different
both young people were able to solve their problem. That's it. Very simple and straightforward. One sentence identifying and recognizing that, yes, they had similarities and differences, but they were about a young person's ability to solve their problem. Okay. If you're feeling overwhelmed with this still, that's okay. I want you to try your best. Hopefully you came up with a couple of paragraphs, a couple of sentences, some text evidence, and we'll put it together tonight on Zoom and we'll talk about it. If you're feeling unsure, it's okay. Take a deep breath and we're gonna do this together. It's okay. I will see you tonight on Zoom with your completed or at least your attempt to complete your essay. See you tonight. Bye guys.